team is legit. Man, Tony, Snoop Dogg is that get it. in the game.
EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the Carolina Panthers. Camaro made the Pro Bowl in each of his first two NFL seasons. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Right there. 54. 36. 36. 54, Mike. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to you. On second and 12. Breeze. Looking left sideline. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Ready. 95-56, 95 now on first down. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on the pickup of 13. Clearly, every time the Saints put together a game plan, they plan to get Michael Thomas involved early and often. 125 catches in 2018, the most in the NFL. Not bad for a kid in Pop Warner football that only played the minimum number of plays every game. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second and nine, Breeze. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Ready? 35-56. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Where he's going to try and throw on third down. Open man is Michael Thomas. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 17-yard line. Where he's going to come up here, first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Kamara's got the first down and And he is in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Camara with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Lux with the extra point. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Thompson. It's caught by Roberts. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. 
Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just getting a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division. Looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for everyone possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. Again here on second and two. Going up top. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Ready? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Freeze. And he's got one wide open to Freeze. Midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Great pick up there, 26 yards. Marie's to throw again. And Thomas has it. And in front of it, it's on the ground. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they're going to set up shot at the 27 yard line. Carter, on my spot sheets, I highlighted turnover margin because we, we remember they turned it over four times last week. So another one here in the first quarter. This isn't the way they want to go. No, not even close. And, and it's not something they even imagine because the amount of time that we know that they spend in practice talking about what they need to get done, working on it, showing them how to take care of the football, and emphasizing what it means in terms of winning, they are, they've got to just be puzzled right now that they're not taking care of the ball better. Second and ten now from the 27. You got nothing yet. You got nothing. Mike 56. Mike 56. Thompson now to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore, but now it'll be third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Here's Thompson. Got his target, Samuel. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. First carry for Christian McCaffrey, who made his first Pro Bowl last year. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Yeah, he was finding the open man. It's DJ Moore. 
Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. DJ Moore went through some ups and downs his rookie season, but really came on strong late in the year. Finished with 55 catches, the most among Panthers not named Christian McCaffrey. And now with Devin Funches gone to Indianapolis, he's going to be the true WR1 for the Panthers. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Thompson, from two, completes it to Samuel. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 42. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for this team because number one, you throw a short game until they stop it. But if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break the tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Samuel complete. Let's go. Let's do After it. one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. Here's Thompson from the ten here throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Thompson. Again on second and ten. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Curtis Samuel, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As they are now. And this is blocked. The Saints have got it. He's got a convoy and he might be gone. He's at the 30. 10. And all the way into the end zone, and that's two points. Following the botch, PAT is set to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a couple yards deep will go to a knee. He won't return it, and they'll take it out to the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky. Because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. We can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Yellow lady, yellow lady. 54. Mike, 54. Here we go. Here we go. Going on first down is Breeze. And this is Cook with a grab. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Again, it's Breeze. And he finds Cook. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Third catch for him on his drive alone, and it'll give him the first down. Where he's going to come up here, first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Now Breeze. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Jerry Cook is a guy who's been around the NFL. He's been with the Titans, the Rams, the Packers. In the last two years in Oakland, now he makes a move to the Big Easy. Where he pairs with Drew Brees and forms a nice little threat. 
Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 30. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that. Why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, he figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Brady's going to come up here first and 10, and he's hit on his last seven straight passes. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. <laughs> Come on, one thing for sure. You know that Michael Thomas is going to be the target on a third down pass, and Drew Brees finds him and keeps this drive moving. That's going to set him back five yards. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Ready. The delay of You're game, a leave. costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Right there. Now, Blues again. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. From six yards away. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. What's good on the extra point? And his guys will take a 10-point lead. This will be taken in at the one. Yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Blue game, blue game. 56. Throwing on first down. Thompson. Buying time to his left. That's Samuel caught left side. And finally, he goes out of bounds right at the 35-yard line. A big play there for Carolina. 45 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. A handoff. McCaffrey running right. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his 14th touchdown now on the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. This time, the extra point up and good. And that will get them one closer. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost. track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. Ready. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Last time they were out here they had the benefit of good field position led to a touchdown. This time they're going to have to work for it. They are. But with that last drive, that culminating touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. 17 there to New Orleans first down. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. One play has him to the 37 here for Let's first and 10. Let's make these babies cry. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Bree's going to throw. There's that man again. It's complete. 12 yards there. Good for a Saints first down. First and 10 at the 34 yard line. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. A throw over the middle, taken in. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27 yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At the 27 yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Easy, opposite, opposite, opposite. Mike by four, Mike by four, Mike by four. Hey, Alpha. Right there, right there. Throwing now is Breeze. Going for it all. Looking for Thomas, he's got him. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Lux with the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This is fielded at the goal line. 
And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously the intelligent approach. Go ahead and run out the clock and start over. Don't make any more mistakes. But there's also something to understanding that you got this last drive here. You get the ball to start the second half. Try and go two for one here. Get some points now and come out of the locker room and get more points again and get your momentum really built up. Look at the throw. Thompson over the middle complete to Samuel. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Get that ball, D. Let's get that ball. Mike 56. Mike 56. Strip the ball. Thompson now. Brady from the down. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Thompson going to throw again. Letting one go deep for Roberts. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. On now Graham Gano. He's hit from 63 as recently as last year. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. This will be taken in at the one. Powers through. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. Overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. We're just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Shotgun handoff down to McCaffrey. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Now Thompson to throw on second down. Dancing to nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. What's good on the extra point? And a lead now up to 14. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Slam, slam, slam. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. 
So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the side. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. It's a game of 17 yards. That was a nicely run slant first route. Down. And what the receiver's Carolina. trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice time. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now Thompson. He pulls it in. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw. Thompson will set up the screen to McCaffrey. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Second and four. Roberts has it. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards there and a first down. So for the 36 now, first and ten. Ready? Here's Thompson from the downhill throw. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They'll try again from the 36 the on second and 10. 56 to Mike. 56 is the Mike. Two little cup cap. Mike 56. To throw his Thompson. Throw it again. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And now offensively it's third and 10, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have them looking at third and ten. Looking to throw. Thompson. And a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great attack going. Did they stick with it? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because the secondary, they were really close. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Mike's by four. Man, I got you. Man, I got you. Right there. 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. 
On first down, Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. That's another Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing Ready. game, You're and they create such lady. great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Back-to-back hey, -back good plays have him on the move on first down. I'm coming after you. <laughs> From midfield, here's Breeze. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. All the yards, completions, just another play that's a feather in the cap of the great career of Drew Brees. And wasn't he supposed to be too small to be an effective quarterback in the yeah. NFL? Yeah, how'd that work out? Yeah, well, his footwork, I think, really sets him apart. Remember, he was a junior Shut tennis champion. Beat Andy Roddick, the future U.S. Open champion, back when they were in the juniors. I think that footwork really helps him be the great quarterback he is now. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First and ten at the 36-yard line. to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Shotgun now for Breeze. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Personally, I think they've got to go somewhere else with the football. They've got to bracket it out there in double coverage. Makes it hard to fit it in time after time. It would have had to have been an absolutely perfect pass and not good enough. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Here's Breeze to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Get ready. Get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it. Leaving him in his third run. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Come on! And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. A loss of two there, second down. Ready. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. 54. Breeze now. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, the part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs is going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When we talked about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team, especially for a team that's an underdog. Push them back. Now Breeze on third down. And this is Cook for the ground. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Whether you 
you're playing West Coast offense. Oh, look at this. A flip to McKendry. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on down. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Panthers will get the football back. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get them down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. So second in inches after that first down completion would just shy of the market. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays a day each time you snap the ball. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right, you look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Now this throw caught left side. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 37. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. Thompson now. On first down. And break. The tight end's got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. This quarterback now rebounding nicely after the interception. He's hit four straight to start the drive. It's first down. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the pickup there. And it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, and it's very, very difficult for him in that situation. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. But he been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Thompson. And that will be incomplete. The linebacker, Demario Davis, got a hand in to break that one up. It certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Back to throw, Thompson, and no, it's incomplete. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here, and the Saints will have the football back. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 15. They begin on the ground with Kamara. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. We get you reset, and you have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They run it again with Kamara. And some room to work. And all the way down to the 35. And that would run 
52 to go. We get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. A little bit of daylight on that first down run. Sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Bree's going to throw here. That's caught. The tight end here. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Josh Hill, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Lutz with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Norstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple Let's extra go. yards up to the 27-yard line. On the NFL scoreboard, they've gone to the fourth in Cincinnati. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. If they hold on, it would be win number 10 for them on the year. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He was way behind. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Jordan in there for the sack, and he's closing in on the all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Look at the throw. Thompson. He's going to let it fly. And yeah, that's going to be intercepted. Malcolm Jenkins, the pro bowler. Oh, he breaks a tackle and he's got it away. And the return stops at the 39 yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock. This should just be a couple of kneel downs. Ready? You ready? Edwards got four. Four down. <laughs> Drew Brees with a kneel down, and now to do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly Work. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for New Orleans, they just keep on rolling as they move to 9-2 with a win here. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, it's a loss that sets them back in their playoff push as they fall to 6-5. And five. And it Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Dave wins.
it's time to get it lit, we got it hot like fever. Uh. Sick with the talk, the pass of your receiver. All about running the spot. And you know we got breath control, so no need to take a breather. Cardio kingpin, subjugate the dub play. And you know we can't wait to bring spins. A star quizzes, A plus the final. Vocals we align, we'll move it all simul. Tamius, Leo, and Joyce, you rock. We earn 30 years, so you can say we got three turns. Live off the board, unlike you and your chess men. We installed out in you and your yes men. And if the game had veins, we'll insert upheaval the crown. Cause the adrenaline we blend with the sound is our thing. We're leaving the kings of all crowns. So are you ready? ready? Are you set? set? Then jump to the rhythm as hard as you can go. Keep it steady. steady. To the letter, right? Bang. Turn it up, y'all. Keep the flow. But can you rock it like rocket fuel? What you talking about? Space or out your mind? But can you rock it like rockets fool? That's a encounter of what kind? Oh, I hear you guys talking about Victory Monday. Only one way to get that. Let's see some hustle out there. Got it! Set, huh? Shit, we ain't taking no losses. It's all about making the game. I hear a lot of trash talk. He call us up making a name. I put on a jet, the coach regret even letting him stay in the game. See my route took a tumble. Next time be humble. I'm the lion in the jungle. You just trying not to fumble. Rumble, young man, rumble. Never slip nor stumble. I take off poof, magic. Now watch me juke through the traffic. Good work, fantastic. Dominating every facet. Treat the pocket like plastic. Here come the blitz, pass it. Got it on. Smash, put 